Transport for London have put forward new proposals for the private cab hire sector that are viewed as a clampdown on Uber due to the controversy it has attracted from black cab drivers. I'm here in the back of one with Mike, just to talk about this very same argument. And so Mike, why are you so upset about Uber? Well, I think it's a it's not a level, 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 level playing field. I mean, the fact is they don't pay their tax, so they get away with that. They exploit their drivers. Their drivers are earning five pound an hour, and uh, and and how can you compete with that? And the regulations not being forced by TfL, and 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 drivers just feel it's it's unfair that we're being treated very very bad, badly. But then. Can't it just be that it's a free market? If I want to pay for a car, yes, it may be cheaper, but then why not? Why can't I do that? It's 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 about safety and having the safety in place. How are these proposals the meant to affect safety? They're simply just crippling competition artificially. It's unsafe because there's no control over the hours that they're working, and no there's control. numerous Get examples of that. But they're, but they're freelancers. They're able to work as many hours as they want. It's uh, you know free market. Yeah, well, yeah, but the fact is, we're talking about safety, and we're talking about the passenger's safety, and that's well, key, isn't it? they're perfectly safe. They're as safe as any minicab. You see TfL advertised, don't go into unlicensed minicabs. For an Uber, you have GPS record of where you're going. You know what the driver looks like. You've got all these details. There's a lot of accountability there. Yeah, but the fact is, there's, there's, there, and they're also... You just don't like competition, though, no, do you? No, no, it's nothing to do with a competition. You're being because, forced to because we've, service. We put up with competition all, all the time. We've had pri a private hire license since 2003. Before that, it was illegal operations. And, and we nothing wrong with competition, but we just want a uh, level playing field, something uh, where it's fair and it's equal. But it's fair because you're being challenged, you're having to improve service. Many cabbies may don't take card, for example. They're having to appreciate that this is a modern economy where you have to adapt. Well, I mean, I take cards and I think it's right that we take cards and that's being addressed in the consultation that's out at the moment. Critics would say that you are terrified of change, innovation, and you just want to hound out Uber out of pure selfishness. What would you say to that? No, no, I completely dis, 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 disagree. I think we, we welcome the competition. I have nothing against Uber, but the fact is what we want to do is see public safety protected, Uber paying their tax, and actually paying their, their, their drivers a decent rate of pay so they're not exploited.